OK, Paul, given that you accept some of those points, because if we, if we look at the clearance rate, if we look at the, the, the suggestion that the, the, that the punishment very often doesn't fit the crime, there's not much in the way of deterrent here. And that's something that we've been calling for, is a very clear deterrent to be brought in by the courts, that if you attack an elderly person in their home, you're going to go to prison and you're going to go for a minimum period of time. Now, we need to convince other parties to join us in that. It's a commitment in the programme for government that we'll have more effective sentencing for people that attack our elderly. And the message needs to go out. As a community, there is revulsion, but we then need action. And the police need to have specific operations to, to target these individuals that are organised professional criminals uh, and try and disrupt that activity. And then we need to provide that deterrent value through stiff prison sentences. OK, so will we get this new legislation then? Well, that's something that other parties have been reluctant to come to the table uh, to that we have suggested needs to happen. And it's very clear when you hear of the, the terrible stories where, where people are suffering in their homes, they're fearful to come out of their homes, that we need to provide a, a clear commitment that we support them and that the courts will support them in providing stiff sentences. So those other parties should join with us. We're very clear what, what needs to happen and others need to step up.